it's another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen and today I am making a whiskey orange toddy for St. Patrick's Day. Drink number two, let's get started. I need a cup and a half of fresh squeezed orange juice and that usually takes a little bit of time. So I'm gonna get that going and while I do that, I'm gonna learn a little bit about Ireland. How about that, sound good? Okay, so first things first. Last year I did a couple of um, coffee. I did an Irish cream and an Irish whiskey coffee and I told some stories about Ireland that are true. Quick recap, um, corned beef and cabbage, sorry, not Irish. <laughs> what they eat is ham, bacon, and cabbage. And it's rashers is their bacon. Um, it's saltier, it's less fatty, it's, it's good. I've had it in Ireland both so salty I made pucker face and not at, quite as salty, but anyway. The point is they don't make corned beef and cabbage, that's an American tradition, they make um, rashers and cabbage, which is like bacon. St. Patrick was not Irish, not Irish, he was British. He was kidnapped by Irish pirates and um, he was prisoner, he was a slave, he escaped, went back to Britain. Then he came back to Ireland years later as a Christian missionary. Okay, let's see where we're doing. I don't think we're quite at a cup and a half. Nope. Keep going. This is probably going to be somewhere between four and six oranges, depending on how much juice they contain. Um, okay, Ireland doesn't have snakes, so St. Patrick couldn't have run the snakes out of Ireland. The first St. Patrick's Day parade was not held in Ireland, as far as my research could tell. It was held in here in the United States. Of course, the Irish celebrate St. Patrick's Day. It's kind of celebrated worldwide, really. Um, famous Chicago River gets dyed green. I've never seen it in person. They freak me out. <laughs> okay, let's see where we're at. Almost, I think one more orange. One more orange should do it. Um, and we do have to cook this, so I have my cooktop and my pot. In fact, I'm gonna start heating this up. Sorry about the noise, can't be helped. Um, we don't wanna boil this either, so. It doesn't need to be super hot. Um, anyway, fun facts about Ireland. When I was there on a study abroad, month long thing, my interactions was pretty cool. I went to Sean's Pub, which is one of the, it's got the certificate as the oldest pub in Ireland. So that was a pretty cool experience. Um, <clears throat> castles, I went to castles and all kinds of stuff. The Irish storytelling tradition with the lovely Liz Weir um, and some of her guests as well. Uh, we're just under, and I would rather be a little over just for this one particular. Sometimes if it's a smidge off, I don't care about this time. I want to get right on. Or a little more. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all my orange scraps and I will be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and put our orange juice in here. So our goal here is to heat it up so that it's hot, not boiling. I wanna put two ounces of honey in there, which is always fun because honey never comes out of its container very quickly. This could take a minute. Okay, honey's in. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. Once again, we just want this to warm up, but not boil, and we're almost already there, so I'm gonna turn this down because we have a little more work to do. I have some heavy cream that I've already gotten partially whipped. I just put a tablespoon of powdered sugar in there, and um, I did that to help stiffen it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up a little more. So that's been whipped with our confectioner sugar. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of whiskey in here. Okay, I'm gonna take my whisk and whisk that in. And that makes our topping. Yeah, it does. That is almost ready. I'm gonna take two ounces of my Irish whiskey, and there's a little story as to why I chose this particular one. This is Patty's. Patty's, audience, audience, Patty's. 
I chose this one. It has a little sentimental value to me. My bonus dad, my mother's husband, and my mother went to Ireland well before I did. Um, and they really liked this particular whiskey and they had a hard time finding it. I found it at a couple places where I was at. I made sure I got them some. I saw it at my local liquor store and I just had to have it for my St. Patrick's Day toddy. Um, they really liked it. He passed away about 10 years ago. Um, he was supposed to give me away at my wedding and his brother, my uncle Ken, stepped up instead. But this whiskey will always, I will always associate it with him and with my mother and guys. Um, so that's why I chose this whiskey. I don't want to get too sad here. Okay, this is good to go. I'm going to turn it off. We've got our whiskey in there and we're going to fill this, not all the way full, because we want room. That's perfect. Ooh, and drippy. Look at me be messy. Who allowed me in my kitchen? <laughs> and we have our topping and this is, as I said, it's um, heavy cream and powdered sugar and some whiskey. And we're just going to generously put that in there. And you can serve this with a spoon if you'd like or just the way that it is. For me, I'm just gonna do it just the way that it is. <sighs> mm. Cold day, it's so cold right now. We have um, freezing happen right now, freezing rain, ice, the whole bit. This is perfect, it's so good. Mm. And a good whiskey to go with it. Happy St. Patrick's Day, be safe. From my kitchen to yours, thanks for getting muddled up with me and cheers. That's one boy.